Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. This is my third attempt to try and record this episode because for some reason uh, Streamlabs started uh, dropping frames. I think he's going yes he's gone that way that's fine on the plus side I didn't get very far into this into the recording of this episode each time the frame started dropping so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too fussed I have been able to record a couple of other things today so far, so hopefully now this this will work fine. You're coming back in here now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you've gone the, one, the wrong way around. Okay, never mind. I am keeping an eye on Streamlabs just in case. Oh, I think he's caught on. Thankfully he's downstairs. Thankfully it's also a lot cooler today, but it is still quite muggy. But I will take that, frankly, because after being, not being able to record for two days, I'm getting kind of antsy. I just want to make videos at the end of the day. Oh, well, we got up here relatively quickly. Take you guys out real quickly. Uh, yes. Good. We read that as Leon, so that's fine. Now this area should be quite fine. That it didn't start dropping frames until I got to uh, the orphanage. Orphanage. So. That will be the true test. But we'll see. Anyway, how are you guys all doing? Are you good? It was raining a while ago, I was going to go outside and stand, stand in it for a bit because fuck this temperature. I don't do well in heat folks. I literally cannot operate in 30 plus degree temperatures. But with the downside of being British. <laughs> we have a certain temperature and after that all functions will cease that worked it did indeed No. Nah. 
Damn it, he's going in the direction I need to go. <sighs> He'll come back eventually. He can't go through that door. Yeah, here he comes. Just run clear. It's not far to go to the office. And here we go. Freedom. Ooh, he's loud. I have my knife back. I didn't actually mean to get rid of that. Alright. There we go. Put you in. Put you in. You go there. Perfect. Thankfully, Mr. X can't hear this phone and immediately track my location. Hello? Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. Do we? In the neighborhood, you'll find it. Are you sure you're all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. <sighs> Don't worry. Right, here's the test. We're at the orphanage. This is where it started dropping frames for me before. I agree, Sherry. Can we get past this stage of the recording? Let's see. Grab the creepy doll. Okay, so far so good. Leave you there. You there, you there. You there. No, that's not going to work. There we go. Used to know that puzzle off by heart. 
It is kind of a pointless puzzle because, but for some reason, for na now in the Resident Evil universe, duct tape is completely impossible to remove by hand. Ethan, Ethan needed a knife in Resident Evil Seven. Both Claire and, and Leon need the knife to open up the panel in the RPD, and Sherry needs scissors. It that's impressive duct tape. Gen 4. Wednesdays are perfectly great days because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanies. It was just study, 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 and there wasn't no ice cream. I love, love, love it here. Jan 10. There was an important rule made today. Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's good we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go and get picked on for my old clothes, especially not by the guy that used to wear them. Jan 16. The orphanage director is coming today, so I'm a, I'm a gonna wear my most favouritest checkered blue outfit. The director is tall. The director has a moustache. The director is a policeman. Who could that be, ladies and gentlemen? Right, this is where I got to in the last two recording attempts. Nothing popping up on Streamlabs. Very good. So obviously, where no Sherry, whatever was causing the issue before, I've somehow resolved. Purely by accident, but it's resolved. So I will not push the matter further. Thanks, Eagle Eye. No key. Darn it! I need the key. Tom's diary, Feb five. It's been two months since I sent that letter to Oliver, and all I've got on back is nada, zip. Then again, they're all like that once they get adopted. But he's living like a king in some fancy folks' home and forgotten all about us. Really thought Oliver was different; that he'd be my friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. Feb 8. Anne sat all the kid, little kids down and told them a story today. She said all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeymen. That's why no one hears from them ever again. Not sure where she gets her ideas from, but she sure got that she sh but she sure got the mind for writing trashy horror novels. Feb 13. There's something weird going on around here, and it's not just because of Anne's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and this place is funded by some big drug company. But why can't we call people that all go outside? Why are there so many doctors around? What's with those shots every day? It's almost like we're... Feb 4. 14. I'm getting adopted. Me. Most people go for younger kids, so I figured I was too old, but I can't say I'm not a little happy. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I say goodbye to this place on the 20th. I'm going to try my try my best to be a good son. Someone my new mum and pop can be proud of. Feb 19. Oliver came back in the middle of the night, all messed up, screaming help me and stuff. I didn't even recognise him at first. His face was all peeling and melted off. He's with the teachers and doctors now. It's just a skin thing, they say. He'll get better soon. And then we can go on go on adventures together again. This place is... <coughs> Why? This place is messed up. Oh no, it's him. And just in case you didn't need further proof that Old Irons is messed up, he's listening to classical music, because all psychos do. Someone's diary. If you reading this, go call Quis. Quis. Boogie man's here, eating everybody. Everybody. Many bark boogie man's here. Help! They're coming. Help me, mummy. And there's the mayor's daughter. I'ma just take this. 
Hi. Where you going, Sherry? Home. To the shops. I need anything? To stay put. I wanted a Milky Way. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Uh. Ah. 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 That's not very nice. She's only twelve. You just run, Sherry. Jesus. You are gonna be so fucking sorry. I'm not sorry now, and I won't be sorry later. Bye. Help! Somebody, please! You stupid bitch, that's a dead end. How did how did this happen? Hmm? Alright, Jolly Green Jackass. Let's play a game of hide and seek. It's all over now. Doors locked. Where are you? Show yourself. Now I'm all right. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you. The worse it's gonna be. <clears throat> Thanks. Oh God. Oh God. Shut up, Sherry. That bitch has gotta be here somewhere. You'd think, wouldn't you? Oh, did that hurt? God damn it! Shame. <coughs> I feel so bad for you, dude. Please watch the language, I'm only twelve. This is your last fucking chance. Alright then. Show yourself. Now I'm good. Oh, oh, it burns. I imagine it does. Right, give me them keys. Run, 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 Sherry. Fuck is my key. Hi. I see you. Do you? <laughs> Just run, 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 run. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. I am quite smart for my age. I'm coming, Sherry. Here's Brian. Get over here, you bitch. No, I'm all right. Not, not going to try and lock that door. Hi, Daddy. Oh, yeah. That could not have been pleasant. Good to see you again.
in, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time! Bring me the pendant, or Sherry dies. The pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Is Sherry all right? For now. <laughs> I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her... And he hung up. That was rude. Damn it. Don't worry, Claire, we got this. Just you wait, asshole. That, that's that area now all clear. We are basically done with the RPD at this point. Although we'll have to come back to get the hidden stashes eventually. <coughs> Right. Hmm, I'll take one of those. Hey, XC. Now we can leave this hellhole of a police station. You again? Hopefully that will hold him off for a bit. <laughs> hey, Kendo! Uh, the, sh the shop is shut. <laughs> Come on, boys, this way. Oh, here he comes. And we are safe. Ah, oh, I should have brought the uh, SMG with me, never mind. Oh, good job, Claire. No. Well, that was a waste. I was trying to blow the bitch's leg off, and you missed several shots. That shouldn't have missed. The hell are you doing? Hopefully I've got enough to deal with these dogs. I'm not sure I do. Oh well, we're getting through it. That's the main thing. Yes! Two for one.
You done? Right. I'm not used to this grenade. No. What'd you do that for? Oh my god, what are you doing? No, combine! There you go. Enjoy. Yes. It's got to be the orphanage. What makes you say that? I'm not seeing it personally. Pretty sure I cleared the area, but whatever. Better, to, better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Hang on, Sherry. Here we go. Hello, I have the pendant. Sherry, Sherry, are you here? She's about somewhere. We got stuff to collect first. New first aid spray. More of those. Letter from the director. Regarding the incident in question, I'm glad to report that it has all been taken care of. On Feb 19, test subject 628 escaped from the lab and broke into our facility. 628 was originally from this facility's candidate pool and apparently returned in the hope of seeking help. 628 was quickly detained by our staff. As 628 was undergoing one of the lab's clinical trials, there was a distinct possibility that he had brought the virus with him, so we disposed of all of our test subject candidates as a precaution. Their speedy disposal was conducted by the security team, to whom I'd like to extend my thanks. As for our neighbours, we told them that due to the building's dilapidated state, we have temporarily moved all of the children to a different orphanage for their safety. As to the future of this facility, once it has been fully decontaminated, I plan to resume securing more test subjects. So when Oliver came home to see his friend, it all the kids died. What a horrible human being Irons is. And we all know Umbrella is shady as shit anyway, so... Need I need I say more about them at this stage? Uh, fall. What? Took too long. What happened? Uh, oh god. Get, get off me! Yeah. Oh my god! I don't know about you guys, but I think he might be dead. Not that it's not deserved. Right, this area should all be clear. Yes. Right, let's go find Sherry. Oh, hi. Go, go, go! <coughs> Claire! It's behind you! Don't stop! Now, technically, he's behind you.
down. Wake up. Wake up. Hi, Annette. Open your eyes. Hold still. I'm not infected. What the? I'm scary. Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. Do you ever see this? Meet me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who is, who is that? The creature responsible for this. Can you help me find Sherry? It seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. <laughs> yeah. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. Well, she's clearly not yours. Sherry go. Sherry's her daughter? Yes. Report about G. The G virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans is born, allow me to predict a few things about its, bio its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately with their linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days. Finally, they will lose their capacity capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. Physical abilities. Due to... Uh, that's, meant, that's meant to be due. Due to its unusually accelerated cell division evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration... It will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional, conventional small firepower. Reproductive behaviour. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search out humans with DNA that closest matches its own and implant an embryo in them. By the chances of, but the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not a close enough mat, close enough of a match, an underdeveloped G creature will be produced instead. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough match would be any biological children of the subject. Lovely. Anything over here? No. Right. Let's ditch this lot for now. Ooh. Put you there. Uh, what else should I take with me? I might, yeah, I'll take this back, I think. Put you there. Do I have any more? Yes. Ditch those. Uh, we'll take all of the grenades. Take out the G creatures with. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 2, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.